Hey guys, Kyle Sutton here with Better the Berg, and today I am at the Autism Connection of Pennsylvania, and we'll be back with that interview right after. Okay, uh, th thanks for having me, guys. Thanks for having me, Lou oh, and, and Marie. Hi. Really appreciate it. Sure, thanks for coming over. Yeah, okay, so Autism Connection of PA, t tell me a little bit about it. Yep, so my name is Lou Randall, I'm Executive Director. Mm -hmm. Marie's our great family supports person. And we've been around totally for 22 years now. Okay. And Marie's been here longer. You wanna talk about what you do? So I have a 27 year old boy with autism and mm -hmm. intellectual disability. Yeah, okay. Um, I provide, we provide education, advocacy, and support to parents and professionals who know or love somebody with autism. Right. With uh, rate increasing, pretty much everybody knows or loves somebody with autism. Yeah. So it's helping us. Okay. <laughs> sure. So, so somebody calls in, says I need help, and you figure you out how to help them. Set them up, right. Okay. We tell them, like, Pennsylvania offers a lot of entitlements or mm -hmm. eligibilities. So we were able to offer those and then spin some things to get services right. to really meet the family's needs. Okay. In school, outside of school, in the family, siblings are really affected. So, sure. as I have another daughter, and as she was growing up, I'm a single parent, so raising the two children was tough. So, I really try to help parents understand that the siblings need as much attention. And it's just something I learned from. Right, the, the whole family life. can be affected. Right? Yes, sure. the whole family is affected. Okay, right, right. The neighbors and the extended family. And yeah, okay, okay. Now, um, Lou, you, uh, you guys offer a lot of education as well? We do, yep. So because we get about 130, 140 phone calls a month for help, mm -hmm. or emails, because a lot of our adults who are autistic um, will email us or go through our social media. People get us any way they want to, right? Mm -hmm. And some people, especially it's good to know, um, autistic people tend to like to write to people okay. versus use the phone, so something just to, to know about. Mm -hmm. uh, so once we kind of find out what their concerns are, we can design our seminars, our newsletters, our articles, um, whatever we do around that. So yeah. we don't have any kind of national ties or anything hanging us up. And our board is awesome. We have a very supportive board, but they don't like tell us what to do. They just support us with policy okay. and like, fundraising. And so we have a, a nice classroom here mm -hmm. uh, on site. We're in Aetna, so around Pittsburgh. And we're moving toward webinars too. Okay. So we can design seminars around anything from feeding issues. So we're all ages, all stages. Sure. Feeding, employment, um, college. Do you go to college or no? Don't you go to college? Mm -hmm. Or when do you go? Um, through kind of life planning, guardianship stuff, trust, special needs. Okay. Behaviors, anyway. sensory issues, yeah. mm -hmm. everything about autism. Right. Okay, right. Yeah, I mean, a, a, as many things as come up in life all could, could lives. be covered, right? right. Yeah. Um, you, you were telling me that you've been getting a lot more calls lately from adults, really. Yes. Okay. Really slammed. How, how has, so that's a, a change from the way things yes. previously were? Okay. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I think when I started here in <clears throat> 19, I don't know when, mm -hmm. that it was all parents of babies. And so all those children grew up. Yeah. So I feel like I'm talking to the second generation now. Interesting. You know? Right. Yeah, yeah. And people are more included in school and we really advocated for people to be included. So now that they've been through school, they can communicate and they can self-advocate, which is sort of the goal for a lot right. of people, not everybody. Mm -hmm. Not everybody is, has the ability to use their language um, right. words, sure. So, sure. But yeah, people will call us or write to us and say, hey, I think I'm losing my job, I'm not sure, um, my landlord's being a jerk and you know, cut off my heat. Like we do anywhere, we, we know anything in all ages, all stages, but also all kind of situations. And sometimes they're crisis and sometimes they're, we're trying to prevent drug right. crisis. Or they're lonely and they're just calling to talk, okay. which is just fine. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, that like, makes sense. We're sure. sort of a safe place for them. Everybody mm -hmm. else may not be able to talk with them about autism, or they may not be able to say, by the way, I have autism. Right. So we're just safe. And, and so just by the nature of what, what you do here, you, you must have a number of um, kind of trustworthy connections that you can point people to. Is that Yeah, we yeah, really try to yeah. make warm referrals. So warm referrals where we know that they will be able to take the call. Um, if I don't know them yet, say it's a domestic violence shelter, yeah. and so we'll call and say, hey, this woman who's autistic that's in this situation, just let, you know, she, her name is, you know, Mary, and she's calling in. So the, mm -hmm. that's a warm referral. So we're, they're ready for it, we set it up. But we have built up a lot of um, personal work connections over the years, so we know yeah. who's really reliable across okay. the state, and that's yeah. pretty helpful. Okay, okay. Um, and, and there's, um, you've set up a number of support groups as well? Yes, we okay. have 64 support groups right now. Yeah. Throughout 34 counties, oh, I believe, okay. in Pennsylvania. Right, right. So it'd be nice to have a support group in every county. That is my goal. Sure. Yeah. Call mm -hmm. me. 
<laughs> right, right. And, and we can make that connection. Yeah, yeah, well, right, right. Any of them. right. Yeah, and some of them are there's very self help. So there's uh, adults that do social groups. It's not always about therapy or intense stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. Or, um, we have a couple of grandparent support groups now because okay. a lot of grandparents are raising kids um, with all kinds of abilities or disabilities. Mm -hmm. So. Those we've got, um, we started one for parents of adults in group homes. Okay. My son just moved out last year. Yeah. So it's a very different life, you know. Yeah, and, and, and something yeah that you're very, it's very present very, to you, I guess, yes. right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. It's still day to day. I'm still uh -huh. working on it day to day with him. Sure, <laughs> you know I mean? sure. So. Um, a, a, a lot of them here in the Pittsburgh area? I, I, I know you said throughout the state. Support groups. Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Pretty saturated. Yeah. Okay, pretty yeah. Yeah. saturated around here. Yeah. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Um, anything else you want to sh want to share before we wrap up today? Well, I guess just that I'm really um, thankful to the Pittsburgh community and, the, and our region for supporting us because we're independently supported. Okay. Um, right now we don't get any government money, so the foundations have been great with us and yeah. and just our families and people that just sort of run things like, hey, we're gonna give you guys a, a run, a 5K run. How about it? So it's been really helpful, and that's how I think what the cool thing about Pittsburgh is specifically that. Okay. You know, people are like reaching out and helping out. That's great. That's great. Yeah. And I guess like in everything, you know, all of behavior is a form of communication. Mm -hmm. And so we really want people without autism, like anybody, just be kind. Sure. You know what I mean? Just sure. always be kind. In my son's case, he's pretty tough. You okay. know what I mean? My beautiful boy is pretty tough. And mm -hmm. so I've always felt it would be easier to change the world. And I still kind of have that attitude. I think it's mm -hmm. easier for me to get the world to be ability friendly mm -hmm. than to change my son. Okay. Which right. Yeah. Tough. Right. And people should and feel free to reach out to us. We've been doing, last year we did a lot of um, school disability acceptance, like um, assemblies or classroom talks. Right, right. And that just goes into, everybody's got hidden disabilities. Mm -hmm. I have glasses, you do, they're part mm -hmm. of our brain. I'm different. And right. we start from that. And by the end of the talk, people are like, I have ADHD. <laughs> right. I have right. a therapist and I have anxiety. And like, yeah. the kids are really proud. Which is really about good. Sure. Uh, yeah. 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 Get autism. rid of the stigma. And I think you, all even that, that, that's... A somewhat recent change, maybe, even, yes. too, I think. That's good. That's, yes. that's positive. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah, I think um, kindness is a good foundation for, for a lot of things. Yeah, then. Well, yeah. That's yeah there's a lot business. of hope. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's right. a lot of hope. Yeah. Okay, well, very good. Th thanks for your time today. Oh, thank thanks you. for coming yeah. out. Yeah. And guys, thanks Bye. for watching uh, Better the Bird. We'll, um, we'll have blog posts attached to this, so um, watch and read, and, and thanks for paying attention. Take care. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. See ya. <laughs>